Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, I know I told you that I wouldn't be making content during the race. Well, uh, my team decided on 95 laps and the race is over for us. Um, as is, that should give me uh, the rank 4 monster rewards. And then since we finished first in our uh, race pool, we should get an extra 1000 cells for the monster. So it's looking like it's going to cost me 3500 cells to rank 5 Steam Wrath. Uh, I have every intention of rank 5-ing Steam Wrath. Um, I think it's the most for fun monster that's been made since I've been playing. Uh, Voltaic and things of the like were before my time. This is the first time that I'd ever be able to... Even Charmless was really before my time, meaning Charmless was big when I first started playing, but by the time I started to get Charmless and was able to start uh, you know, working towards ranking Charmless he became outdated. Uh, so that's where I'm at with, this is going to be the first time that I actually get to have fun. Uh, those of you who have seen Armor Gaming's channel, you can tell just from watching his videos that he's having a blast playing with the monster that Social Point gave him. Uh, and it's in my consideration that I think we're going to have the same amount of fun when we get ours. Social Point isn't giving me a rank five, but I have plenty of dust so that I'm going to give myself a rank five. Um, I think it's going to be my Kodama replacement in the Gauntlet. Uh, I still plan to use the PvP monster, the Uriel Essence team. That way, if we get alted, I have backup Uriel. But I feel like uh, on all the nodes where I usually like to switch out that team and go grab like a K Kodama Bombetta, we're going to switch out for uh, Steam Wrath, Ferris, and Bombetta. And that's going to be uh, the Gauntlet team. Uh, and then I think that the team is going to be fine in PvP if I can get Ferris to be faster than my uh, Steam Wrath. And since my Steam Wrath is going to be rank 5, it seems ideal that we're going to rank 5 Ferris as well, which is going to take a lot of dust because I only have Ferris at rank 2, whereas I had only got him to rank 2 for book rewards. I went ahead in my last stream and I started ranking some monsters. Uh... These were ones that didn't require much Stardust investment, meaning for less than 100 Stardust, I was able to rank the Aerobat and the... They're both PvP... All three of them are PvP monsters, to be act, to, to be frank. And we're basically just making the next, uh, I guess, I would say breakout, but it, or, or the next cap, but we're the next main level is 140, 130, and 130. And for the Teddy, we're going to gain damage boost. And then for Aerobat, I don't really think it matters. We're not gaining much. It's just that it was only like 50 cells. So I didn't want to be missing out on all that gold permitted over 50 Stardust. So I went ahead and I ranked two of them. Uh, I did spend 12 gems each. So you're looking at a 36 gem investment to keep the ranker free. All right, so now for my ranking though, uh, I do have all of that Amber Dust and Blaz is on the way. And those of you who know, I've been wanting to rank Blaz to rank 5 since the beginning of knowing there would be a chance to get Blaz. The only problem is with every single new monster that comes out, it seems less and less likely that we're going to rank or need ranked Blaz. Whereas, like, I was looking at ideas of being able to turn transfer off of skill mirrors or being able to extra turn with vampires having skill mirrors, having protections. Um, now, it's not really any of that matters to me. I think uh, with the Steam Wrath, Ferris, uh, Megaton idea, we're going to be fine on attacks. Um, that team's really only hiccup is going to be when monsters can go, like... Hardy is definitely something that can answer you if a purr is going in between when your Ferris goes and when your Steam Wrath goes. Meaning if your Ferris goes and you put up a shield on your Megaton and then an enemy goes and interacts with that shield, maybe purrs it away um, or pierces through and punches you, you don't want anything like that happening. So you really do want their speeds, I think, to be as close as possible. Meaning you, whatever speed you have, on Steam Wrath and on Ferris isn't really that important. What's important is that they're close together so that no monster goes in between your Ferris and in between your Steam Wrath. So that way you can set the shield up and then you can start uh, doing your attacks. I do think you're going to see a lot more chuckles in the future. I think that uh, SP was considering when they made Steam Wrath. I don't think they were considering... Um, 
an AOE, a tune giving it infinite turns, but they're probably currently sitting around the drawing boards going, how much does this matter? Uh, is it something we have to interact with or do we just let it play out? And my guess would be you just let it play out. Uh, it gives you the perfect opportunity in the future or in the coming events to sell a monster that would be an answer to that problem, meaning you give everybody enough time to invest in building that up and then you sell them a counter to it. I think that's pretty much been the format that SP runs since I've been playing anyway. They seem to like to control the meta themselves, meaning there's not a whole lot of brewing, I think, in this game. Meaning, like, I played Magic the Gathering, the card game, and you could you could brew. You could go through the thousands of cards, and you could come up with crazy concoction combo ideas and make, you know, decks. Whereas, I like that in games like this, too. Whereas, if you can, you know, take a bunch of different moves and monsters and create some idea team that, you know, other players might not be expecting or some combo, but you can't in this game, really. Uh, in this game, everything is pretty much what you see is what you get, and then next week they print you something new. Uh, and I feel like with every printed monster that comes, it's SP who's controlling the meta. They're the one who says, look, this monster's good because these players paid 50 bucks for it, or this monster's not good because nobody paid anything for it, or this monster's good and next week I'm going to make this monster good because I can. That's pretty much what I see happening. Uh, my attack team that you're looking at is not really my attack team. That's just something that I was doing for fun. Um, but my defense team, that is the defense that I'm working on. I am not the originator of this defense. This is one of two defenses that I went with the team that I did create, which was Vampira Tabura Linworm. Uh, when going against the thousands of opponents, the number two teams I didn't want to see was Turn Transfer Hardy, and I didn't want to see uh, the defense team that you're looking at. Um, and it was really crucial when Bombetta goes before the Vampira uh, second turn, um, being that, you know, Chuckle has Nur, Bomb has Nur. Uh, there is a weakness to the team. I'm not I'm not really going to try and sell you the weakness while you're watching this because, like, I'm trying to keep the team decent, you know. Uh, but, yes, this team is basically free wins if you know how to beat it. Uh, but I feel like with the upcoming Steam... Uh, Wrath combo. Uh, it's so obvious of a combo, meaning uh, everyone eventually would figure out that Hardy's not going to do anything versus your shield because that's the same. That's the only team that really works in the gauntlet. Meaning, you can talk about Odana combo with. Uh, the new monster, and you can talk about Ferris combo with the new monster, but the problem is Odan is a mythic, which means you're not going to be able to take him into the gauntlet with you, which means the only piece of the combo that you can take into the gauntlet with you is Ferris, which means if you want infinite attacks in the gauntlet, you have to run Ferris at this point, unless they make another monster. But as is, you have to run Ferris, you have to run Steam Wrath, now you got your infinite. Um, if they have something like Anticipate, like Miserus, you can run your Mega Taunt. Uh, you don't really have to have Mega Taunt. You can use a Turn Transfer if your speeds are lacking. There's going to be all kinds of things you can do. But the point that I'm getting at is eventually you would figure out using your Gauntlet team that, look, you get a shield. All right, uh, that shield is going to be valuable in PvP, though, because... Most of the monsters that interact, uh, like, on the Anticipation side are hardy. Uh, there are Rags, there are Chuckles, there are... Um, a miserous from time to time, but the main one is Hardy. So having an answer to Hardy is pretty good. Uh, when it comes to, you know, answering Chuckles, you're going to have to be able to outplay them. You're going to have to be able to outplay a Rag. Uh, they're like, even something as simple as Rag, he's able to 100% um, turn transfer to a monster. Uh, what if he turn transfers to a uh, Pierce Vanos that KOs you or what if you're going against you know a turn transfer team and their turn transfer monster is faster than your steam combo and they turn transfer to Vanos and Vanos kills your steam combo there's going to be lots of things that can counter you on the most part but that's not what my intention was if you look back at my last video before race came I told you guys, look, I don't know if this monster is going to break the meta and be the next best thing. All I know is that it looks like a blast to play with. It looks like a lot of fun. So since I saved up all of my Stardust, I plan to use that Stardust to have some fun. So I want to rank up with my Amber Dust day to rank five. My chat agreed with that in stream. Uh, 
And then I want to work on Bloss after that. But instead of going all out on day at the moment, I think we're just going to rank three him. And then we'll play test with him and decide if we like the idea of ranking him farther than that. Uh, and yeah, guys, if you check your watches, it's been an extremely long time coming. We could have ranked this guy so many moons ago and we never did because I just didn't need him and the reason I didn't need him was I had Santa well now that I'm in a top team for war it's not as pleasant when I see the good legions come around and I'm trying to use a worm lad um, or a Katsuko. Now I can have a Megaton and it's going to allow me different team ideas. But those of you who know me know that I'm not a big fan of war and I don't like to rank monsters based off war. So for those of you know that we're basically killing two birds with one stone here. War is not the reason why I'm ranking this monster. The reason why I'm ranking this monster is because we're going to put Bombetta on defense. Bombetta is going to be our defense monster, meaning I need Mega Taunts for attacks, and I'm not sure Santa's going to cover that role, just like I'm not sure Day's going to cover that role. So that's why we're only going to rank three him for now. Uh, now, what I want to do before I spend that 25 gems, which I do plan to spend gems, is I want to talk about the Stardust route. I plan to use 3500 Stardust to rank Steam Wrath as soon as we get Steam Wrath. That's going to bring me down to about 8000 Stardust, okay? And then with the 8000 Stardust, I want to use it all on, I think, in order to rank, uh, what's his name? Ferris, we need, you know, three ranks. You're looking at 4500. You're, look you're looking at about 7000 Dust I need to rank Ferris to max. So that would be it. That would complete me other than a thousand dust. But I don't get the race monster for a few days. It would be um it would be some more stardust that I could make by that time. So what I've been looking at is how much uh orbs I have. I have eighty five hundred orbs and I think I need about ten thousand to rank either Thassla or Rag to rank four from rank one. And I think that the monster that I'm going to rank is uh, Thassla. Now, the reason why I'm going to rank Thassla is I think uh, she's just more fun to play with than Rag is in the Cosmic Era. But considering that Steam Wrath is going to be taking over, you know, a large chunk, it's, 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 become, it's going to become a piece of the pie, basically. That's what I would call it. If you could take uh, all the team ideas like Vanos with, you know, taunts and you know, stuff like that. If you could take all the team ideas, you, they would basically all be a slice of a pie. The pie is the meta. Infinite attack loop, or even without the loop, meaning you don't have Ferris, so you're not using Ferris. Maybe you're using a strength rune. Maybe you're using stamina runes. Maybe you're not needing more than 20 turns with Steam Wrath, so you're planning to win that way, or or what have you. Um, you're basically just one piece of the pie is going to be infinite turns. So I'm not really big on like trying to rank my rag just for being like, oh, well, rag's really good against the infinite turn combo. Like, so what? Rag's really good in the Grandmaster duels. That would basically be why I would rank him. Thassla's also good in the Grandmaster duels, but Thassla is going to allow me more options when it comes to having fun with like Linworm turn transfer. Like, no, I don't have a Shelly, so I don't get the revival ability and keep my turn order so that I can recast Mega Taunt. But I do have, you know, a Bombetta. I do have this day that we're now ranking, and I do have a Santa. So it, I have the ability to get hit once. But, um, yeah, so there's just, I don't know how to explain it. I have to pick a War Master, and in my mind, I feel like I've always been more of a control -y player than I am, a, you know, a defensive-minded player. So I want to rank Thassla uh, mainly for being able to use in friendly fights, being able to switch in if I was to 3v3 some, or do a best out of three versus a shit talker, where it's like, look, we're going to do three matches. The winner of two is the winner. Um, it would be nice to know that I have Thassla combo in my pocket, just as well as it would be nice to know that I have that pressure on my opponent, whereas if my opponent is looking at my account and they're like, dude, he doesn't even have a rank three Thassla, so I don't need to worry about being comboed out by that. Well, now they at least have to think about it. They at least got to be like, oh, well, he could bring Thassla. And then that changes up, you know, a lot more into what they're going to need to bring. Whereas if you look at me and you're like, oh, he's got rank four rag, you're not going to think anything different than you would if you think, oh, he's got rank zero rag, like, or rank one rag. Like, so to me, rag's not really that important. Uh, I don't do grandmaster duels yet. Uh, 
we will be able to start soon, especially since I'm thinking about getting uh, the Thassla ranked. Now, in order to do that dungeon, I need to rank some water monsters, so I'm going to do that in this video too. So this video is basically me spending gems since the race is over. Uh, I am working on a task currently. Uh, I'm working. I started it during the happy hour that was going on the other day, so it's not uh, officially happy hour now, but it will still give me double gems when I finish it, if I finish it. I started the Monopoly slots task. Uh, you got to get to level 150 and you have 21 days to do it. And the first day I got to like level 28 or something, so we're going to play it from there. Um, it doesn't seem to have a lot of free coins on it, so it could be a tedious grind. I don't know yet. Either way, I just thought I'd let you guys know that that's the task that I'm up to. If I can complete just that one task before the next race, I will be fine. It's 5,500 gems. I'm hoping to spend no more than 400 gems in the making of this video, but uh, I told you guys I would show you what, how I'm going to make some runes. Um, I have a level 10 chest in my stash that I don't need uh, to open until Rune Lords comes, but I did open up all of my book rewards. So from the last season where I uh, ranked to the pages, I have opened those rewards and I have those nines ready to use to craft. Uh, and that is what I'm going to be crafting with is nines. And I might move down into eights, but I doubt it. Uh, I think we're just going to stick with the nines. I would love to get five tens, but I doubt it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to double check my monsters and make sure that I don't have nines on monsters that I would prefer be something else. Like we have uh, team speed nines everywhere. It looks like I got three on chuckle, one on bomb. Um, I have nines on my... Uh, black feather as well so that looks like we're talking about seven team speed nines uh, I'm sitting on and then my, I think it's my nemesis team that I basically have I got nines on I have nines on Worthak and then I have nines on Ruby I plan to keep the nines on both of them I just want to you know double check what they are uh, it seems that I only have one uh, strength nine on Warthak, so I would prefer to keep another strength nine. It looks like I've got more team speed nines than I need. I don't think I'm going to need more. Uh, and oh, if you look at my Kodama guys, uh, I have made some changes while I've been off of the cameras, meaning during race, I made a couple changes to my teams uh, during the rune discount as well. I have three nines on Kodama. I ranked three my Chuckle, and I ranked three my uh, Lord Pilatipus. Now, when it comes to Lord Pilatipus's runes, I'm extremely sad with myself. I put three tens on them for air duels. I took three tens off them when the discount come, and then I put three tens back on them when I ranked three because I thought I was going to use them. I'm not a big fan of him right now. I feel like he doesn't even do anything versus the Steamwrath combo. Like, Steamwrath could just burn off his anticipation. Like, he's just going to cast Area Dodge. Like, what, is he going to shock your tank? Like, what? he's not going to kill your tank if you have a shield up. So you, you could basically just run this monster right out of anticipation. <laughs> like, as far as I know, he's got a four-turn cooldown on uh, his ability to recast anticipation. And he's only got a three-turn clock of anticipation. So... Once he casts Anticipation on himself, you just take three extra turns and his Anticipation is gone and he hasn't done anything with those three extra turns. And then you just beat his whole team to death. So, like, I'm highly disappointed with myself that I've moved runes on and off and off and on a monster that turned out, I, like, I should have done more research. Uh, he's not going to be as good as I had hoped in the future. Um, if you put Strength on him, it's still not going to help him get through a Shielded Mega Taunt monster. Basically, Chuckle is the go-to uh, Anticipation monster, which I think is awesome. That is something I was talking about earlier. I do think SP expected Chuckle to get better with uh, the Steam Wrath being printed. I think they were well aware that, look, these people are going to take a bunch of extra turns. We got to, like, they'll be able to put a Pyro Shield up and the extra turns won't matter. Uh, and then maybe their Pierce monster will get a turn and they can KO the extra turning attacker and end it that way. However, they just knew there was going to be options and chance. So I do think that that's still relevant. Uh, I also think, though, that you can put Nanovirus on monsters. Like, if they don't have Mega Taunt and they just have Chuckle, you can, you know, put Nanovirus on all their monsters and then the Pyro Shield doesn't work. Uh, Ferris is faster than Chuckle, so you really will have to decide, like, who's going first on your team. Uh, are you running six team speed? Are you running five team speed? Are you running four team speed? Are you running three? Like... That's all going to be a thing, and I think that me ranking Ferris is definitely something we're going to do. I just don't know how far we're going to rank Ferris yet, so I think we're going to wait on the race monster to do that. Uh, but in order to rank my 
Thassla, I think we are going to rank three this chick. This chick is 100% on my radar to rank five. Uh, since I'm going to use my dust on the Steam Wrath Ferris combo, it's going to make it take longer to rank this monster, but I definitely want to rank five this monster. I want to rank five this monster for friendlies. I want to rank five this monster for the Pierce mechanic. I want to rank five this monster for PvP attacks. I want to rank five this monster for lots of reasons. But today, I think we're going to rank three for that dungeon. Uh, when it comes to these nine runes, though, that I was looking for, I think we moved all the ones that I need to move so that we can just go ahead and start crafting. Uh, I can't wear three nines on the... I just need to make sure that I have three speeds saved, which I keep them on uh, Kodama. So it looks like I think I'm ready to start crafting. All right, let's go to the nines and let's see what we do here. All right, so out of the nines, I don't want the team speeds, uh, and then I don't want all three life runes. I think we are going to craft one life rune, two strength runes, and two team speed runes, and one the one team strength rune. So let's see what happens. Uh, we'll start with the nine. Uh, I do need an extra strength rune uh, for my pierce attacker. I want to run her three strengths, so I think we're going to start with level one trying to get us a strength uh it went down to an eight we're going to try again with a nine uh, and we're doing this because we have the boost at the moment so hopefully one of these is at least going to work out we'll come back as a nine so we're still just going to try it again and the reason why i'm doing this you may wonder is like Dude, there's a rune lords going on why are you doing this all right i'm doing this because had that nine been what i crafted on my own free time it would have took 20 hours guys 20 hours of me not being able to craft runes. I don't like that. All right, so, so far, we are not doing well. We've, they're all going down, but, I mean, that's part of what part of what happens. Um, yeah, so let's go back here. We're going to go back here. We're going to try again. Oh, I should have done three of them. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we're down three runes with no tens, but what I'm not down is a bunch of my free time. Let's try this one. Maybe strength is just cursed. They're like, you can't have a 10 strength, bro. Get out of here. All right, so I finally got my 10 strength. Uh, now, I don't know what goal that was with a gold chest. I wasn't aware of that. But uh, now I also need, um, since we're going to put the three, I, I need, uh, I think I need more speed runes. I'm not really sure. Let's go look at our 10s. Uh, let's see, we got... We got 10 speeds for days, I think, and then we have team speeds for days. I just know that I needed that extra 10 uh, strength for my Pierce monster. Um, maybe Ferris is the one that we're going to take our time ranking up uh, instead of the Pierce monster. I'm not sure, but it's basically... Ferris and Roscula are going to compete for my Stardust. Steam Wrath is getting a guaranteed 3,500, and then those other two are going to compete for it because those are the only other two monsters on my radar. I have no intentions of really needing to rank Chuckle, uh, and Bomb is on my radar to rank. So that's what I'm working with. Um, I just need to decide on what rune type we're going to try and make next. Uh, we have enough life runes. I got 210 life. But I guess I should have a third 10 life just in case you ever try to swap out trip lives. But yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I guess we'll just try to make a speed and a team speed. Seems the best that I, I can come up with off the top of my head. We can always change them later. That's That's the cool thing about a 10. So let's go back and try to work with getting us uh, a regular speed. All right, so what is that? Four runes that were down. Whoops, wrong ones. All right, so I don't have that many. We'll change it afterwards because we don't know how many times uh, the rune's going to come back or go down. Like, wow, we keep getting so many of those. And I said that I wanted to keep one of the strength so we'll go ahead and try again with the team speed all right so we're still getting a nine uh let's see where did it go all right well <laughs> we're having awful luck man 
awful luck. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's keep two of those, one of those, and then get rid of this. Um, and now I'm going to go grab those damn eights because this is ridiculous. Let's see, where did it go? Yeah, like, all right. For now, I think we're going to leave it like that. I mean, it's better than it would have took me all those all those days to find out that our runes were going to go down. And if they go to a 7, we're leaving them at a 7. Like, I'm not, I'm not worried about a 7, but it's going to be hard to get 9s. Or it's going to be hard to get um 10s from freaking 8s. But there's no better time to try than during one of these boosts. Let's see where we... Uh, we made a bunch. The game just wants to eat my gems. That's all it wants to do. I couldn't believe how many nines I didn't make. Like, they all just went down to eights. Like, all right, so that one's done. Um, let's try all of these, basically. But those of you who've seen me play, you know I have horrible luck at this game. All right, so we brought two of them back up. Let's see, we have three of them back up. Um, pretty sure we made all of these, but I'm not like 100% sure. I know I don't want to mess with that life rune. Um, I know I have more team speeds. I keep them on monsters, so let's just try to get all the team speeds. All right, now let's go back up to the nines. And let's see what we got. We got five of them to work with. All right, so we're going to try and make a stamina rune, I guess. All right, look at that. We made one. <laughs> so we've made two. Uh, maybe we're lucky with stamina. Maybe we should just try again with stamina, even though I don't need uh, any more stamina. Now. I just figured it would be nice to have to play test with the race monster. Uh, maybe we'll just run ourselves out of stamina runes, I feel. Stamina's feeling lucky. Okay, I take it back. Let's, uh, let's go back to the one we got the most of. Alright, can we get... Can we get some tens, please? We're up to, like, what, three tens? People are always asking me, how do you get your tens? I don't... <laughs> I don't get tens, guys. They, they just don't happen. The game hates me too damn much for 10s. All right, so we're at four 10s. I really hoped to get five 10s from this whole whole shebang. Like, that was the point. Um, I better go check my gems and see how broke we are. Okay, we're still only... We still got 200 gems. I was really worried about my gems. All right, we'll use the rune nobody uses. Uh, let's go get that eight. All right, down to a seven. Let's go get this eight. Turn it down to a seven. And let's go get one more and turn it down to a seven. Uh, let's see this one. Yep. Okay, so I think that's all of them. I don't think we're going to get... Well, I guess we could try um, one of these. All right, so it went up to a nine, and then we can try one more time. So, wish me luck, because this is probably the last rune that I'm going to be able to try. <sighs> and it keeps going down. Well, I either want it to be a 7 or a 10 today's video. So, it looks like 7 it is. Alright, so out of my 8s, I will go back and check my monsters one more time. See what we're looking at for 8s if I need strength or speed. Looks like we got some speed there, some speed there, some team speed. Yeah, I haven't seen an eight strength yet, though. Uh, so it looks like I'm good on regular. There's one. 
All right, so I'm good on eight speeds. I just need to keep the eight strength, the eight life, and the eight golds. So I think there was an eight. We had one eight. Yeah, one eight speed that we don't need. What can I turn it to? What do I think is going to be lucky today? Let's, let's, we had luck with stamina, so. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's a wrap. All right, so we made four tens. Uh, and we spent, you know, 200 gems doing it. Uh, I also will be buying a 10 for 325 gems from the shop uh, during the next Rune Lords. And then I will be opening up. All right, so during the next Rune Lords, we will buy this 10 right here. And then I will uh, open this 10 that I have uh, right here during the next Rune Lords. That'll give me two 10s, which means this month I added six 10s. Um, gonna go ahead and open these just because I feel like it while I'm here um, so yeah like that's how I'm getting tens on my account everybody wondered uh, wrong chest damn it <laughs> uh, everybody wondered how I was how I get my tens I feel like that's easier because now my ranker is not gonna be busy uh, whereas before I was spending all month and you know every time you would get a nine back that's a whole day that you're crafter was busy so now my crafter is not staying busy all day the next maze is supposed to be the blahs maze i will be ready for that uh so before then during this uh current maze that we have is linworm and rara i don't need either of these monsters i can care less so it's basically like i take a break from the mazes so that i can be ready for the next one all right so now going back with my last 200 gems uh we got our day rank uh that's fine I said that I wanted to rank three Rascula. Let's go find her. Um, where is she? Where is she? We're going to pump it up. Yes, rank her. All right, so there's 25. And then we're going to rank her a few more times. Uh, we got to get her to at least rank three to be able to use in Thassla's dungeon. Uh, rank three is all that works. Let's break her out. Let's rank her again. Yes, break her out. There's 50. And it's going to be a 75 gem fee to do that. All right, where did she go? So she's ranked two. This is the last one. We're still at 10k, which means I think we'll have just enough to rank 5 both um, Ferris and Steamwrath, assuming that the combo stays and goes on without check. Alright, so now let me feed her and rune her. Uh, we already made some runes, so let's... Let's put the ones we made on her. All right, so she will be working on rank fiving her. She is now on my radar for rank fiving. I know I should do this during a fee event, but I really just don't care. All right, now one last monster that I want to rank for my dungeon is a legendary water this guy he is not going to cost me many of these at all convert them yes rank him 25 spent go feed them okay feed them up then we're going to change these uh, runes on him and we're going to change them on my Let's see. I think we got to go find. Honestly, we could probably just take that off and put a 7 on. Since he's used in the... Uh, what are they called? The... Grandmaster duels. Um, uh, let me know in the comments, is he able to hit hard enough with his non-water attack moves to kill a Thassla? Can you KO a Thassla in the Grandmaster duels with him? I am highly curious to know the answer to that. Alright, so now when we go over here and we check out 
Thassala, we still have three days, 17 hours. Um, I now have a team. I will be getting uh, the last orbs that I need from uh, race and PvP this next month. So let me go find where we hit all of our sevens. Uh, pretty sure they're chilling somewhere. Maybe I should have been making team sevens. I don't know. Uh, during race, I made only uh, gold runes and life runes for the uh, craft sevens. So we did get a few extra. Um, I did one of the rank one for all sevens, and then I've done a few sevens uh, for the joint efforts, and every time we would just do life or gold. So we were able to get a few upgrades that way. Um, still looking for... Maybe I should have been making some team speed sevens because I seem low on them. I've always preferred to have like six. Oh, here we go. We're chilling out on our Thassla. We'll just put the stamina there. I think we got enough now. All right, and then I don't know which swords I'm going to be working on. I guess laser beam sword for her. Might as well just put it on then. Huh? Yeah, we'll take his off. And her staff. Uh, since I'm doing this dungeon, I think we're going to go with the cane of Atlantis. That way I can get stamina every node, even though I don't even think it's a survival dungeon. And we'll put cane sword here. Even though I think Cane Sword should probably go on my attacker. I think I did that ass backwards. Let's just put one of these on him. Equip there. Honestly, he probably doesn't even need one. And we'll take this off and we'll put the canes there. And then I think we're ready to go see if we can smash anything out. Um, Alright, yeah, so let's see how fast we're we looking at. We're looking at 12Ks. Alright, this should be easy. Uh, and then that's basically what this video is going to be today. Um, I don't need these water cells for anything. Uh, we're going to see how many Thassala cells we can get. And then I'll probably stick Thassala in my ranker since I'm in that like pocket window where I got a couple of days to rank things. But I don't actually have the Cosmics yet to rank. Meaning like we have the past monster from watching ads. And we have... Uh, the one other monster I can't remember, which, uh, what is it, or is it two? I think, I'm not sure. I know we got the chimney monster, oh, and the PvP monster, so, like, if I can get enough cells to rank the PvP monster, like, that would be nice, but I don't think I'm going to, so I think I'm going to have time to be able to rank this Thassla, but... I'm really looking forward to being able to rank 5 this Ross Sukla. In the Gauntlet, your Ferris's level does not matter at all because you're not going to have to worry about like the enemy going and purring your stuff as much. Whereas like in PvP, like I was telling you guys in the beginning of this video, you want your Ferris and you want your Steam Wrath to be as close to the same speed as possible so that your opponent doesn't get a turn to interact in between. If your opponent gets a turn in between to turn transfer and kill you, or if your opponent gets a turn in between to purr your shields and kill you, like, you don't want any of that happening. Like, you want to be able to go before as many monsters as you can, so that way, like... The slower you are, the longer the list of monsters that can beat you. So the faster you are, the smaller the list of monsters that can beat you. And that's pretty much the game plan that I have. That's why I feel like we got... So I don't want to rush and rank my fares today like I told people in the chat we were going to do. Because what if we do that and then the day the race monster comes out, Social Point works it so that Super Attune does not... AOE stack with a regular super attune that you just get one super attune that it's basically like the same thing as a monster who had AOE immune to stun and then a monster who had immune to stun you don't get like immune to stun on top of immune to stun you just get um, you're still immune to stun period like if Ignis gives everybody immune to freeze 
they don't need two immune to freeze uh, traits. So they might actually make it so that you can't have overlapping traits. Um, but until then, meaning if I get the race monster in my hands, we will still have the gems needed to just go ahead and rank five them both. Uh, we will spend 40 gems opening up steam slots, uh, and then we will spend 25 gems ranking steam. So we're looking at 65 gem investment needed for steam, and then we need, let's see, 75 for Ferris. So I'm looking at 150 gems to get that team up and running. I'm going to take the three tens that I have on Pilatipus off, and then I think we have the six tens that we would use on Steam and Ferris, and then we already have the three tens on this monster, and then I think that's what you're going to see on my channel for the next coming month, is me trying to rank five this monster, and trying to rank five those monsters, and then trying to get back to saving up dust in the gauntlet. Uh, and that's, that's pre pretty much where I'm at. Um, as you guys are seeing, this is pretty easy. I will fast forward through it all and show you guys at the end result of getting this, how many cells we get. Alright guys, so I autoed through all of the dungeon uh, nodes except for this last Thassalo one. I figured people might want to see the end fight. Uh, so just know that it was perfectly autoable. I don't even think anybody got a turn. Uh, we're faster than... Pretty much everyone, yeah, so the whole dungeon was audible with a rank 3 Roscula, however you say her name, and then 3 uh, team speed monster, or 3 team speed on your other monsters. Uh, I need to do all of floor 5 and then some of floor 6 in order to rank 4 her. I don't think I have enough dust to do that, but I do think I have or enough orbs. I do think I have enough orbs to complete this one so I'm going to fast forward through this one and I will come back at the end the same way alright so I fast forwarded through all of those I swear it took me guys like 10 minutes of just hitting the auto button uh, none of them did we fail with the auto there were a couple where I wondered if we were gonna fail but we didn't and I just auto through all of them but it took a really long time uh, it looks like I'm going to have just enough cells to, or orbs I mean, to get into the last dungeon to see actually how many orbs I need to finish it. Um, I know you can look up on line how many are needed, but to me that's too much tedious math considering that I only need like half of the dungeon cells, not all of them. Because I really only need rank 4. Uh, rank 5 is kind of overkill in the cosmic era, I think. So when I come in here, I'm going to get to at least see the prices. Uh, it looks like 150 They do give a ton of cells, though. So I'm hoping with the next set of PvP orbs and the orbs from race that I should be able to complete my mission and get the rank 4 Thassla. Um, I will probably re-rank 3 it with the cells that we currently have. Uh, I think that's how many you get for the last dungeon. Um, all right, so... However many more cells I need divided by 24 is how many nodes of this dungeon I have to do. So let's go see where I'm at cell-wise when it comes to ranking up um, our Thassla. We only have 460. So yeah, I think that's just rank 3. Um, so I, I think rank 4... Is 370 cells, so we're looking at like 15 nodes. I'm guessing uh, 3k orbs is what I need left, so maybe I will have to spend some gems. Uh, and just this PvP season and this race won't be enough. But there's also the Nemesis dungeon coming, so Nemesis dungeon, PvP, and the race is all going to be added in towards us accomplishing that mission so again like i said this video is basically catching you guys up with what's going to be going down uh behind the scenes for a month um i will keep you updated as we you know accomplish the goals on the channel but now you at least know what's going on on the channel during this month uh, that i do actually have goal plans um we will be trying to make some gems since we just spent a bunch of gems. But like I said, it's going to be 165-ish gems to get our Ferris team online, or I should say our Steam Wrath team. Um, but with uh, when it comes to like my defense team, I do think it's going to be decent versus the Steam Wrath. Uh, one thing I think that people forget is that 
you know, you can run like relics on Bombetta, like Thetis armor that remove 300 stamina when you're hit, and you can use two of them so that you remove 600 stamina when hit. But you also got to remember that Ferris gives stamina regeneration. And aside from uh, the stamina regeneration, uh, you can wear mutant staminas and you can wear a stamina rune, but that would be my argument is that I think you want to force that uh, if you can, but yeah, hopefully uh, maybe the Vampira will switch and become the Rascula that we just ranked up if we get her higher ranked, so that way maybe we can put a Pyro Shield up until our pierce attacker gets to go and hopefully kill the steam wrath enemy that's that's what i'm looking at on defense but uh and then on attack team hopefully we will eventually be able to change out our pvp monster for a uh thassla i don't think and our madame for uh the day that we just ranked but i don't think like that that team's like a great team or anything i just think that it's for fun guys like the same thing that i think steam wrath is i think that with the given infinite loop of stamina and the shield that uh steam wrath is a more viable team now than people thought it was when it was first released but still i don't think that it's so broken that it just runs over the meta i think that uh, a lot of people lose with it and then i think that a lot of teams do have a fighting chance against it like i just said ferris with uh, a pierce monster i think is pretty or not ferris um uh, chuckle with a pierce monster I think is pretty good so that's what I'm going to be working at on my account um, I don't know if you guys are going to be doing other things I know there's anticipation uh, SC coming I'm not a big fan of the SC anticipation monsters I don't think that the new anticipation monster with SC is any more impactful than witch cat was meaning like look at witch cat what's witch cat doing and there were tons of people that talked about how awesome witch cat was uh, and I think the same thing with this uh possession monster uh, i think yeah it looks good on paper and everything sounds great but in the reality of things man you, you can only got room for so many monsters and if it's not like straight up impacting the game then it's not going to matter like so yeah like that's where i'm at with what's going on on the channel and i will be putting up a video tomorrow and i did not uh do friendlies because i was asleep so we will pick up next sunday where we left off at uh which i mean it's it's going to be a coin flip anyway during races on whether or not we uh we do Sunday fun days. Um, but yeah, so thankfully race is over early for me and I will have a chance to get my count in a good order. So that way when, uh, the P or the race monster drops, we can rank it and, um, uh, get it ready. Like the same day, we're not going to wait. Uh, one of the advantages is we will be able to use it in that, uh, cosmic dungeon. Whereas currently, uh, I don't have very many of the monsters that we're going... Like, I only have two monsters coming. I got the PvP monster and I got the chimney. And that's not going to help me beat this whole entire dungeon, guys. But after the first week, once we get... I will have the maze monster, maybe. We can get that online in three days and 16 hours, but I don't think so. But uh, I will have next week the PvP monster. I don't know why I keep calling it PvP monster. I will have next week Steam Wrath, and we will be able to smash this dungeon out, I believe, with Steam Wrath. Uh, there's a Miserous note in there, which, you know, could be a hiccup, but it shouldn't be. I think everything, and I do think uh, Brutus has damage mirrors, so there, you will have to answer a few things in here. But other than that, I think it should be easy slim pickings uh, going through here with the uh, Marathon Monster and smashing it out. So that's where I'm going to leave it at with this video. It definitely was long, but I got a lot going on, and I hadn't made a video in a few days. So I wanted you guys to know that, like, yeah, I still think exactly what I thought. The race monster is a blast. I think everybody should have got it. Um, I told you you should have got it if you didn't get it. Um, I understand that there's people out there who don't have Ferris or you might not have Odana either. It's okay. The race monster is still going to be a load of fun without it. Without any assistance at all, it takes 20 turns. So with assistant, like mutant stamina runes, uh, your teammates having uh, banners and stuff that can charge the whole team. There's there's so many ways that you're going to be able to get extra turns to be able to have a bunch of fun, and you can take t attacks and kill pretty much anything. Um, like the Chuckle teams, would you be better off if you were doing more damage than if you were just speed-based? But either way, that's where I leave it at. And then uh, if I think anything else, I'll share it in tomorrow's video. Later.